we were working on uh, Cruising with Ruben and the Jets almost at the same time uh, we were doing um, Uncle Meat. And um, I, I, I don't want to go beyond this, but uh, I like the album. Um, but when I heard it uh, later on, and I don't know how much later, Frank took the rhythm section that was on Ruben and the Jets off and put an, a, a studio musicians on. Um, and that's, I don't know how, probably about, it must have cost at least 10 grand, you know, to hire you know, studio musicians to do that. But when I listened to the album of this 50s music with a 90s rhythm section, I... I, my jaw dropped, and I, I just I couldn't understand why Frank wanted to do that. But other than that, um, I, I thought the vinyl was so much better than the, than the CD. But I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the album. I enjoyed playing on it. Well, it just, you know, if I would have had a bed to fall asleep, uh, I, I, no, it was just hours and hours and hours and, and just went on and on. And and again, a lot of times, you know, Frank would experiment, you know, let's use 10 woodwinds on this or whatever. Um, again, for me, I, I got to, a chance to play all my instruments, but I think that album represents um, more... Um, more, I, and I, I don't want to use the word improvisation, but certainly more uh, variations, you know, the Gardner variations, one, two, whatever. Uh, but it was endless. And, uh, you know, Frank's energy level, uh, again, in a studio uh, with some coffee and cigarettes was, uh, you know, I mean, could blow me out of the water, man. You know, at some point I got to fall asleep here, man. They had, a, a group had asked Frank to sanction blowing up the, the ammunition stump or whatever, and Frank said, I'm not going to do that. And at some point uh, into our concert, uh, they started throwing vegetables and eggs, and we, there was this barricade of uh, these uh, iron things, and they started throwing them and started jumping up on the stage in a total riot. Uh, there had to be, uh, I don't know, 10,000 people there. That in, And the, the stormtroopers came in and, and uh, the, the band had to leave and we wondered if we were going to get out of this thing alive. Uh, I don't believe we... Uh, we tried to go back and play, but it was no dice. But that, is, uh, that was an awful scary um, situation. And I think at some point Frank handed out medals later on uh, just to you know, to show that we survived that particular incident.